Howdy folks. So we're back here at the meal today. Um, the camera issues we hope are pretty well done. We got this new camera in. It came in while I was uh, working my normal job. Uh, I work 12 hour shifts so that's the reason we haven't really tried it out much and got anything back to you. Uh, but I figured we'd start down here at my sawmill what is currently the mill. The progress I'm hoping you can see. Uh, I'm wanting to try to get cleaned up today. Hopefully sometime today. Like I say the camera went to the bed right before I went back to work. So my wife decided to put up what film we had already and give y'all guys a part two. Uh, hope y'all enjoy that. Hope y'all stick around with us. Um, give you an idea how much of a mess everything is. And hopefully you'll see the before and after. That'll be good. Maybe follow you along a little bit. Uh, I want to try to today get some sawed up for firewood and uh, maybe take over to the farm. I still got to get the trailer done for my meal. Um, I'm going to be putting it on a trailer that I have. That is a little bit of work to come. Uh, I got it shortened as far as the width ready. I got to get the axles done and some other things. Some are, you know, wanting to follow that. Some people are okay seeing that. Some aren't. Uh, I'll film it. We'll put it out there if you'd like to watch it. Maybe give you some ideas if you have a meal. Or if you're interested in purchasing a meal. Uh, not sponsored by anybody. We are just getting started. It'd be great, whatever. But uh, I would only want to be sponsored by people that actually use their product and know and trust. Uh, I can say hands down I've not dealt with any other company as far as sawmills go. But I can say that Woodland Mills, hands down awesome for small time homesteaders um, I got their biggest meal so glad I done that because <clears throat> uh, we've maxed it out a few times and I don't believe a smaller meal would have handled me uh, there's been a few times I wished it had been a little bigger but the bigger you go the harder it is to get those logs turned and stuff so really it's probably for the best that I didn't um, that being said, if you know you're not going to be doing a whole lot, if you're just doing, you know, little cabinet boards or something like that, you don't really need the biggest one. Uh, the reason I love them is their design is easy to modify uh, for personal preferences as you go. Uh, you can add to, you can change, all that stuff, and they make it... The, di the design is so simple of a design that it's low maintenance uh, in the long run of things. So I really like them. And their customer service, I have ordered a lot from other places, just, just stuff. And hands down, they got one of the best customer services that I have dealt with. They have been super awesome to as far as helpful in anything I've done. And honestly, I don't see too many people complaining about their customer service. Uh, if you got any complaints, I doubt it could be through that. Uh, that being said, I have bought blades and things from other companies. Um, not really had any major dealings like the mill. The only other company that I did deal with that was outside of Woodland Mills, not to knock them, I wanted a heavy duty uh, sharpener. And the reason I wanted such a heavy duty is on the off chance that we grow to a larger meal one day, larger band meal, I wanted something that I could keep the sharpener. Because for the price of them, they're pricey for no bigger than they are. Uh, so I wanted something really heavy duty and something really accurate. I went through Cook's. Cook's is a, an American made product. Um, went through them, ordered their cat claw sharpener. Uh, don't regret that either. Uh, really don't. It's an expensive product. You don't use it every day or nothing, but it sure saves blades. And didn't really have mo no trouble with their customer service either. They were really helpful. Uh, 
just not as extensive of a dealings with them. They probably really great guys, probably really super helpful. Just not needed to talk to them and their customer service quite as much as I have the Woodland Mills because Woodland Mills sends me a hat. They send products on occasion to use my pictures and stuff. That's one of the reasons I've had more conversations with them. Not because I've had any problems with the mill. Uh, all the problem I had was with the first year clutch burnout. Uh, they sent me another one. It's under warranty. Boom. Done. Other than that, the normal wear and tear on belts and stuff, that's about it. So, let me show you a little bit of that, and then maybe I got some other work to do helping my brother out today, and we'll get back, and I'll try to set up the camera, because we actually got a tripod now. Yeah. Um, don't know how well that's going to work outside. I'm gonna, I even got a little microphone up on top, so uh, hopefully the picture quality is better. If you see me looking off to just the side of it, on occasion, it's because there's a little screen there, and I can see if I'm even seeing myself. Before our old camera, you had no clue. No clue if you was even in the shot. No clue if you could even be heard. Nothing. Uh, so it's probably best that it, it went to the bad. We got this camera off Amazon. Like I say, when it came in, I was working full time. Uh, I worked four or five days a week sometimes, 12 hour shifts. Uh, so I try to record and get some footage on my days off. Um, wife tries to put them up on my days that I work. So bear with us. We'll try to get more of a schedule as we go uh, and, and get more videos to where y'all can expect them out by a certain time. And we'll try to get more routine. Uh, we got two little ones. My wife, she watches, takes care of 99.9% .9 of the time. So that being said, you know, it's, she's rushing around with them a lot. So uh, we'll try to get them up when we can. Uh, but we're, we're wanting to make a schedule of things. Anyway, I had started showing y'all a little bit of the meal. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show y'all a little bit more, show you the mess, show you what goes along with it, show you a couple of the modifications that I have made to the Woodland Mills sawmill, and tell you a little bit about their newer products. I, I'm not doing this as a review necessarily, but if you are a small time homesteader or you're interested, you got a bunch of trees on your property and you want buildings instead, um, you know, if you got the time and the work to put into it, and you like working with wood and working outside, I would highly recommend it. It's very satisfying to do your own. Um, it, it's a level of pride that you get in it. It is time consuming. And as far as saving money or making money, if you're doing this for yourself and you want the pride and quality in it, then by all means do it. If you're wanting to just throw up something quick and you don't have the time as far as price goes lumber fluctuates a little bit but it's starting to come back down it raised quite a bit there for a little while but it's starting to come back down so the price of your normal two by fours two by sixes plywood stuff like that for just your basic sheds it's it doesn't really pay out for the price however that being said if you want timber frame big beautiful timbers rough sawed lumber stuff like that Duh. I like it I would I, I don't regret it there is a lot of circle mills out there big production mills that can saw your stuff a lot cheaper and quicker you may not get the quality you want if you got one that you trust by all means stick with them because uh, sometimes you know you just never know uh, I like it because if I want a large timber that if i had to go buy it would cost um big time so i like the fact that i can sell my own and save a lot of money um in that sense and i love using big large timbers uh you know 
they're heavy, they're hard to work with, but they're beautiful when they're done. I love timber framing work. And this makes it to where I can do that a little more. And I got the pride of saying that I, I cut it from my own timber and sawed it up myself. So I'm not going to say it really pays for itself, but I don't regret having one either. So anyway, here is the mess and the disaster that is the saw house that we work with. Um, so I got the Woodland Mills 130. It's the older mill. I think I explained that in the last video. Here's my track. I can saw up to 21 feet right now currently. Um, I'm going to redesign my shelter when we get to the farm. This one has been very hell handy about small scale stuff, one or two things at a time. But when you get into these large timbers, it is very difficult to get them in and out. And the reason I say that is these are 8 by 12 solid timbers. And they are 12 foot long. So it's a... Uh, it's a little hard to maneuver, uh, them but around. these large timbers that are you see sitting here, I have several more at the farm. They're going to be for the barn to hold the upstairs. It's going to be a uh, three-tier style barn. This is the cat claw sharpener that I got from Cooks. Uh, it's pricey. I do love it though. It's heavy duty. It's it's not going to move when you start sharpening stuff. I can Cadillac through some blades. Uh, a lot of this stack area here has just got some oak and pine mixed up to it. I got some beautiful walnut stacked up underneath some junk that is being saved for future projects. The uh, walnut actually came from an old farmhouse that was the original farmhouse to the development that we live in currently that the that the mobile home is in um, we have three acres here of mostly woods uh, i'm not really complaining about the acreage so much it's just i don't really like how close our neighbors are that's the reason we uh decided to buy the farm literally um here is some of the byproduct that I hope to try to saw up today and get at least some firewood out of. I mean, that's really, it's just, it gets thrown over here because it's out of the way and we can stack lumber. This is what I hate having around. Um, it is what it is. Really, it'd be nice if you had a couple people working at the mill at, at a time, two or three. You could have one person sawing this stuff up as you go and not try to overwork one person. But, we'll get it. Um, my next design will be a little different to where this stuff can all go into one spot. I got sawdust over there. And these are strips for whenever we stack the lumber. So those will be used. I try to keep those neat. These are the chips. Um, you can see there, it's chips we're going to use on the farm. They're a little froze right now. But they're they're good quality chips i can't chip this large stuff just because it won't fit through the chipper you'd have to put it back on the mill do a whole lot of extra work to get it ready i can fit eight inch stuff through the thing but it really you don't want to go that big so i tried to stick with littler stuff over there uh that is chippable and that is the plan for the day. That is the plan. Hopefully, that'd be nice if I can get the time and the weather cooperates a little. Uh, we might try cutting up some firewood and maybe getting my brother's chipper over here and chipping some of it uh, and taking it to the farm. But pretty much, this is the saw house uh, that I built just for a shelter like I say that's going to be eventually put on a mobile platform so I can drive it to the mill drive it to the farm 
excuse me, and uh, saw over there so that those heavy, heavy beams, because it takes about two people can do it. Me and my brother can, can move them, but boy, your back hurts after a day or so of that. So, uh, yeah, pretty much. That's the plans throughout the day. I'll try to get some footage of that, maybe link it all together, get her to cut crop to where you're not watching such a long drawn out video. Um, the modifications that I made, I'll show you kind of what I got that I have done. Um, normally these meals, and you can actually get these things with the trailer. Uh, they, they designed one, a trailer for these specifically. They didn't have it when I done mine, when I bought mine. But I just don't want to buy the trailer and have it shipped. Uh, I'm just building my own. I put a little kick shoot to keep the sawdust all in line. It's great sawdust. You can use it for a bunch of different stuff. It's just really fine. It's not like shavings on a large sawmill. Um, got the 14 horsepower Kohler motor. They have one now that is electric start. They didn't when I bought mine. Okay, so that being said, I wish I had had one. All I've had to change out is I changed out my throttle cable to a permanent affixed throttle cable and I put this trailer jack. I modified it because normally you have a hand crank and with the trailer jack now I can just push a button and you can see I don't know if you can see it fast enough or not but it starts to race. Now don't get me wrong it's a little slow but it gives you time to roll your logs or whatever. So I do like that about it. And it sure saves the elbow and shoulder from cranking on it. It's not really hard to crank. It's just after all day, it gets very tiresome. Up there's the drip tank. And like I said, they got, I, I had to mount an external battery. Um, I made mine. I just, that battery can last two days of sawing all day long before I need to put it on charge and I just put it on charge throughout the night. I got one I swap out with it, just a little lawnmower battery. So just keeping them charged back and forth, it's really not that hard. Um, the bushings, this this gives you an indication of how great the customer service is, all right? These bushings are made one piece bushings. So you're like, okay, well how do you get them off? They fix that. Now you just break those bushings, and by these bushings, I mean these little these little Teflon plates that help keep it straight. Now you just break those off, and they sent me. Now, I've had mine since 2016, and they just recently asked anybody that had one of these meals to message them for free bushing replacements because they knew the design was a little flawed. Bam. They come two-piece design. To where you can slide them right in to replace them interlock good to go i just haven't got them put on but that tells you like all i did was give them my date that i bought it the model number so they could get it right a couple weeks later boom they were in the mail no charge whatsoever um it just so happened i'm getting in need of them so uh yeah that is a testament I don't know too many companies that would back up and uh, give their customers something for free just because they knew, hey, we made a design flaw back way back when, when we first started designing these, that we've we fixed now. You know, and a lot of them's like, oh well, yeah, we got it fixed, but you got to buy it. So they gave it to their all their old owners that had bought their meals for free. Awesome people, really, hands down. Uh, it's a Canadian outfit. Uh, their track is quarter inch angle that has been laser cut. The laser cut's great. What I like about it is you can modify a regular angle arm to fit right in it and it'd be pretty well just as accurate if you want to extend and make your own track to ride on. You know, you track bends, you roll a log into it, buckles it, whatever. In a pinch, you can replace it at your local steel shop. So that's one of my main purchasing reasons for this particular meal. Uh, that and budget-wise, it was a lot more friendly than a big hydraulic meal. 
So that being said, that's pretty much the meal. It gives you an overview. Uh, that's probably 20 minutes of me just sitting around talking. So I got to get some stuff done. My brother texted. Got to go help him out for a little while. I'll try to get back to you throughout the day and maybe we can smash something together and uh, get some work done. If not, it'll be on another video. Uh, just keep an eye out for that and we'll get some cleaning up done. And maybe a little less talking. Uh, Y'all might be a little tired of hearing me talk. So, till then, uh, let me get in front of the camera here. So until then, uh, if we put this on another video, anything else, uh, like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see, you know, more doing, less talking, let me know. Uh, if you want to see maybe a little more in-depth detail of the sawing, maybe see it work, stuff like that, uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you want to see. Uh, we got a little bit of a lot um, if that makes any sense or a lot of bunch of stuff around we work with sawmills um, we've built trucks equipment I got tractors bellers if you most of my belling equipment hay belling equipment is older I do got to do some projects to that stuff if y'all want to see that on camera by all means let me know uh, it's cold season it's everything's froze or muddy so things are slow um not doing a whole whole lot can't grow gardens and stuff like that like we want to right yet so this year's going to be this this winter is going to be just getting ready for spring and cleaning up we're hoping to move our mobile home hopefully this year uh, i'd like to try to get it moved around late spring early summer is my hope and goal. Uh, we're currently living in it, so that might be a whole lot of cleaning and distractions at that time, but we'll try to get some video of that and uh, keep y'all up to date. So yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment, hit the little bell that they tell you, you know, let you know we got a new video. By all means, you wanna see something, let us know. Uh, you wanna see less of something, let us know. Um, have a good day. Uh, see y'all around. Thanks, folks.